As the first Tuesday of November draws near, yards are filling up with signs, candidates are trashing each other, and campaign promises are getting bigger. Here at Mixed Signals, we are dedicated to educating the public. That is why we've broken down the top political stories of election 2010 just for you. I'm Hannah Peach. And I'm Brita Gamina, and welcome to the special election 2010 edition of Mixed Signals. So many parties, so little time. Choosing political parties can be tough. Thankfully, we here at Mixed Signals are excited to break it down for you. So let's start with some basic history. There's the Democratic Party, famous for their donkey mascot. The Republican Party, also known as the Grand Old Party, or GOP. Um, Britta, I think it's GOP, not GOP. Yeah. Uh, minor details. Uh, the Green Party, formerly known as the Mob Party, the Magenta Party, the Chartreuse Party, and the Aquamarine Party. Though not to be confused with the movie, of course. Rounding out the top five are the Tea Party and the Libertarian Party. Good thing midterms are over. That's a lot of parties to check out. The race for Texas governor is heating up, and if you still aren't sure who you want to vote for, allow me to introduce you to this year's contenders. Incumbent Rick Perry won over the hearts of gun-toting voters across the state. When he killed a coyote with a laser-sided 380 Ruger filled with hollow-point bullets. So who's next on Perry's hit list? Our sources say Pepe Le Pew, Speedy Gonzalez, and Yosemite Sam top the list. Democrat Bill White has been accused of profiting from a company that was hired by Houston during his tenure as mayor. All I know is that if elected, White will save Texas thousands of dollars by cutting out hair gel from the state budget. These two do just fine without. light camera enforcement safety program is using state-of-the-art digital technology and detection camera systems. You can find these red light cameras at some of Houston's most dangerous intersections. But for how much longer? Proposition 3 on Houston's midterm ballots will allow Houstonians to vote to keep or ditch these automated traffic cops. But that sounds like more trouble than the fierce intersection at Bay Area and El Camino. Well, maybe not that fierce. The only thing politicians love more than money is arguing about money. Congressman Lloyd Doggett, an Austin Democrat, added an amendment to the stimulus package that would require Texas Governor Rick Perry to violate state law if he wanted to receive federal funding for education. Perry promised the U.S. Department of Education that he would follow the Doggett amendment as closely as possible without violating Texas law. But in the true spirit of election season, the Department of Education turned down Texas's application for federal funding because playing politics is way more important than education. Thank you for watching Mixed Signals. Be sure to grab the print edition of the newspaper while you wait for those speedy campus elevators. Or visit us online at www.uhclthesignal.com. I'm Hannah Peach. And I'm Britta Gamino. And that's the news you need to know. Just another perfect day, but before you know it's gone